Responding to invitations from his worldwide following, the Gyalwa Kamapa frequently travels abroad to guide Buddhist practitioners on their spiritual path and to support the Buddhist centers. In 2005, the program focused mainly on Europe. He spent one month in France, mainly in the hermitage of Kindra Ling. More than 100 Europeans have decided to dedicate themselves wholly to spiritual practice. Having taken up the lives of Buddhist monks and nuns, they have found a home for intensive Buddhist meditation and guidance. It is the Gyalwa Kamapa's responsibility to provide guidance for them. The most important thing is that uh, we always try to develop our own nature, our positive nature, that is. Because uh, from a Buddhist point of view, uh, that uh, all sentient beings, not just uh, us as human beings, but actually all sentient beings, have this um, very uh, positive nature, that is the, called the enlightened nature. And uh, as long as uh, we do our very best to uh, cultivate it, uh, we are able to really benefit ourselves and others and uh, just by doing that uh, we will create a very positive atmosphere, positive circumstance uh, so that everything falls into place. Later, the Gyalwa Kamapa proceeded to teach during a course that took place in Germany, where a couple of thousand practitioners came to receive his blessing. The journey continued to the Ukraine, to London, Slovakia, Hungary, Austria, Greece and Spain. Wherever he goes, hundreds and thousands of people come to receive his spiritual advice and support. Tingne, Tingne, Tante, Tante, Dartin, Dartin, Tu, Tu, Chula, Chula, Dani, Dani, Bulla, Bulla, No. Everyone wants peace as well as freedom in this world and this can be achieved through developing compassion and wisdom. The wish that all beings uh, should be happy and without suffering and a true knowledge of how things are. It is not through improving the outer world in terms of raising living standards or the like that the world peace would be achieved. Our inspiration, aspirations for the welfare of all, however, must know no boundaries. Our compassion should be a compassion for all sentient beings without exception. This kind of compassion brings about true happiness, and it is my deepest wish that our gathering here today helps to bring about and achieve that state. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. As Kenpo Rinpoche puts it, the Buddha's teachings started to spread in the West from around the 1840s onwards. The teachings of Buddhism, as transmitted in Tibet, have started to become known since the 1930s. Initially, though, they did not spread very widely. In 1974, the 16th Kamapa traveled through Western countries for the first time and taught the Buddha's teachings to many Westerners. From then onwards, Buddhism spread more and more in the West. The 16th Gyalwa Kamapa traveled to the West three times. And now the 17th Gyalwa Kamapa, continuing this tradition, has already traveled to the West a number of times. 
My aspiration and uh, my motivation is to just simply spread the activity of Buddhism, uh, just generally, and uh, as a human being to try to do my best to, to contribute in whichever way, you know, positive for everyone.